David, I want to continue our conversation about shame. What are the long-term effects of shame on a person? Right. There are three things that are really important that happen to a person who's been shamed enough so that that becomes a basis for how they relate to the world and to themselves. Mm -hmm. First, they don't trust themselves. Somebody has said, something is wrong with you. That's the message that comes in when a person's shamed. So if there's something wrong with me, why would I look inside for what's right for me? Mm -hmm. I don't look for my feelings, my insights, my own intelligence. I look outside. Somebody tell me what's right. Something's wrong with me, obviously. So whatever I generate, mm -hmm. let's say you approach me and, and go to touch me. Well, that might not feel comfortable to me. Why should I pay attention to that? Something's wrong with me. Uh -huh. Those feelings are not right in me. Mm. The next thing that happens is people then begin to try to fix themselves. If there's something wrong with me as a basic sense, maybe I can find an answer. A healer, a guru, a teacher, a friend, a book, a movement, something that will take me away from who I am, will change who I am, will mm -hmm. fix who I am. Mm -hmm. I said in something I wrote, people try to cure themselves of themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. That's a deep thing. So. It's not that it's only bad to follow somebody or follow a guru or learn something. It could be a learning path. But the sense that something is wrong with me and that I'm getting fixed mm -hmm. keeps affirming that particular problem. And I never get out of it. I never find the source of my own life force and follow it. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that happens is people become unprotected. They don't protect themselves. Because when something happens to me or something feels unsafe, I don't think you're dangerous. Mm. I think I'm reading the signals wrong because mm. my mm -hmm. inner authority, my inner, uh, what do you want to call that, um, compass is not working, I think. Uh -huh. So whatever happens when you seem sort of dangerous, I discount myself and therefore I'm open to being hurt. So people get into relationships that are hurtful over and over and right. over. And rather than say, that's a hurtful person, they say, why do I do that? What's wrong with me? Why do I have these patterns? Why am I so sensitive? I don't think you're dangerous. So then what can people do to prevent themselves from being shamed? Mm -hmm. When I teach, I offer people what I believe is the number one priority. There are many things. And that number one priority is to rebuild, reconnect with one's deepest sense of self, the part of oneself that tells you what's right and wrong. Because the shame has come in, I've disconnected from that. Now I need to reconnect people with that so that when you do something, I trust what I feel. Mm -hmm. I trust what I see. I trust what I know. I believe my thinking, my mind is a good one. It's working well. So I don't discount all that. So to help a person have that connection then makes them, it's like an immunity to what comes mm. in that tries to move me in directions that are not right for me. Well, why is it that people don't naturally follow their inner authority already? Mm -hmm. Many of us grow up having our natural impulses run over and then later in life, the same thing happens. Mm. So if you get frightened, someone says, fear, that's not a good thing. Get over your fear. Mm -hmm. Let's do something to calm your fear as opposed to maybe you're afraid for a reason. Or if you get angry, mm -hmm. the culture itself has a large anti-anger uh, message. Right. So you shouldn't get angry even though I did something that hurt you uh -huh. and an anger is a natural response. You think I shouldn't be angry. So there are so many reactions we have that get discredited or you get hungry mm -hmm. for something. Mm -hmm. You want ice cream. You shouldn't want so much ice cream. It's unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I don't think, what are you hungry for? Mm -hmm. Why do you want ice cream? Mm -hmm. I pass over you that natural inner authority that you have mm -hmm. and I start to try to educate you from outside. You're no longer internally managing yourself, right. connecting yourself. You're externally managing yourself. So when that happens for a lifetime, yeah. from when you're young and you're acting certain ways, you begin to unzip yourself in a way, and then you're opened up to whatever I put in there. Uh -huh. So you get run over, you don't have that protective mechanism and mm. inner sense, and inner relationship with yourself. Mm. A lot of people I think will be happy to hear it's okay to want ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ice cream, whatever we want. Right. It doesn't mean we should eat and drink all those things. Right. It means that the things that come up with 
in us like a hunger, mm -hmm. hunger for relationship, a hunger, you shouldn't need a relationship now, you should love yourself before you love other people. There's so many messages. Some of them are good for moments, but they all disconnect us from learning mm. and relearning to connect with myself and follow my own self. Mm, mm -hmm. Makes yeah. so much sense. Yeah. Um, we want to let people know if they're interested in learning more, they can visit your website at davidbedrick.com and click on events to see what upcoming classes you're teaching. And they can also join your mailing list and receive a free ebook on diets and body image. Great, and I'm going to be doing classes probably once every month or two on mm -hmm. shame, so people will find those in the events as well. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome.